Okay, so imagine building something, something huge, powerful, and it's moving so fast that you, the person who built it, you actually step back and ask, what have we done? That's quite a thought. Right. And that's apparently the feeling coming straight from Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, about, well, about their latest creation. Which brings us to GPT-5. Exactly. Welcome to the deep dive. Today, we're really plunging into what's happening with OpenAI's uh, highly anticipated GPT-5. It feels like everyone's waiting for this one. Totally. Mm -hmm. So our mission here is to unpack the latest information, figure out why Altman himself is voicing these, well, pretty significant anxieties, mm -hmm. and you know how this all fits into the bigger picture, this race towards artificial general intelligence, AGI. That high stakes race. Yeah. And we also need to look at the uh, the complex relationship between OpenAI and its biggest backer, Microsoft. See what it all means for AI's future. It's fascinating, isn't it? Because these fears, they aren't just coming from critics outside. They're from the inside, from the very top. You mentioned Sam Altman, and he's actually compared the speed of GPT's development to the Manhattan Project. Which is, wow. That's a loaded comparison. It really is because, you know, the Manhattan Project wasn't just about going fast. It was about unleashing something fundamentally world changing. With huge ethical questions, control issues. Exactly. So when Altman makes that comparison, it suggests he sees AI hitting a similar point. You know, an irreversible moment where its power could just reshape everything, maybe in ways we can't fully predict or govern. That comparison really does hit hard. And it wasn't just a throwaway line, was it? He's apparently said this new model's development feels very fast. He has. And even admitted on a podcast he's a tad nervous about the tech he's leading. He literally quoted that feeling, there are moments where scientists look at their creation and just say, what have we done? So what's making him nervous? What's actually fueling it? Good question. Well, based on what we've looked at, it seems like Altman feels AI is scaling up so incredibly quickly that it's um, maybe outpacing any real oversight. Outpacing oversight. To the point where he said, it feels like there are no adults in the room, which is uh, quite a statement. Yeah. It points to this really deep worry about maybe losing control or maybe not even fully understanding what the model can do as it gets close to release. That phrase, no adults in the room, that's really something, especially when you think about how he talked about GPT-4. Right. He was almost dismissive, wasn't he? Totally. Famously called GPT-4 kind of sucks. Said it was the dumbest model any of you will ever have to use again by a lot. Quite the critique of his own product. He framed its release as uh, iterative deployment. Basically, push models out, even if they're not perfect, learn fast from how people use them, and iterate. That whole deploy and learn approach, it shows their speed. Exactly. But it also makes his current nervousness feel even more serious. Yeah. If they were still kind of figuring things out with GPT-4. Then what does that say about GPT-5? If that previous level felt so basic to him. It just makes you wonder how much more powerful and maybe, yeah, unsettling GPT-5 must be. He has promised, with a high degree of scientific certainty, that it'll be way smarter than GPT-4. So connecting the dots here. This suggests GPT-5 isn't just, you know, another small step up. Seems like it. The level of concern, it hints that this could be a really monumental leap. Maybe even the big stepping stone towards AGI, artificial general intelligence. Ah, uh, AGI. Which is still the ultimate goal, really, for almost everyone in this space. You know, it feels like everyone is talking about AGI now. Google, Meta. Huh. But is there any actual agreement on what AGI even is? Or is it just becoming this, like, buzzword? That's a really good point. It often does feel like a moving target, but interestingly, Microsoft, they actually have a very specific definition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's baked right into their huge partnership deal with OpenAI. I remember they poured like $13.5 billion into them. Can't forget that. So what's their definition? For Microsoft, AGI isn't just about being as smart as a human. It's an AI system that can generate up to $100 billion in profits. Wow. Okay, so it's purely financial. It's incredibly pragmatic, isn't it? A dollars and cents benchmark, which is quite different from how academics usually talk about it, focusing on, you know, cognitive abilities. Definitely. It really highlights the huge commercial stakes for Microsoft. And by that definition, the financial one, open AI is apparently nowhere near it. Reportedly, yeah. Yeah. They're miles off. Which is critical because um, the stuff we read suggests open AI is barely keeping the lights on. There were even whispers about bankruptcy concerns recently. That puts immense pressure on them. Huge pressure. 
They basically need to become a for-profit company by the end of this year, or they risk losing funding, maybe even facing hostile takeovers. It's kind of mind-moggling, isn't it? Teetering on that edge while building potentially world-changing tech. Right. And this is exactly where that open AI Microsoft relationship gets, well, really complicated. More than just a partnership. No, oh, so. Reports are suggesting Microsoft is deliberately holding back approvals, uh, blessings on key things, pretty clearly to protect its own position. Holding back? Yeah, some insiders are even calling it a nuclear option, basically designed to make OpenAI sweat. Wow. So less partners, more like a, a strategic wrestling match. Sort of feels that way. And OpenAI, from what we're hearing, might be ready to fight back. Like, legally. Go to court. <laughs> yeah. Alleging Microsoft is engaging in anti-competitive practices. Okay, things are getting tense. And here's where it gets even wilder. There's this report suggesting OpenAI might actually um, declare AGI prematurely. Declare AGI. Yeah. Based on Microsoft's definition. Or their own. Based on their own, potentially. Okay. The speculation is they could release an AI coding agent, something that's demonstrably better than a top human programmer. And just call that AGI. Exactly. If they unilaterally define that achievement as AGI, it could automatically cut off Microsoft's special access to their best tech. Before the official partnership agreement ends in 2030? Precisely. It's a massive gamble, really. A way to try and grab back their independence and control over their own tech. That is high stakes. But then, amidst all this tension, we're also hearing about advanced talks between them to extend the partnership beyond 2030. Yeah, even after AGI, however it gets defined, is theoretically reached. So it's like they're fighting, but they also know they need each other. Absolutely. It seems clear both sides, despite whatever drama is happening internally, still see the huge ongoing value in working together. It's a complex dance. It really brings us back to that central question, though. Could GPT-5 be the thing that triggers all this? You mean triggers a premature AGI declaration? or just intensifies everything. Maybe both. Its potential capabilities combined with Altman's very obvious fear. It really does seem like it could be right on the edge of something truly transformative, maybe even uncontrollable. And it's such a shift from how we used to talk, isn't it? Massive shift. Remember when he seemed almost relaxed about it, saying AI would be smart enough to stop itself from causing existential doom? Yeah, the, the threat would sort of whoosh by with surprisingly little societal impact right when AGI hits. That change in tone from that confidence to the current nervousness, it's incredibly telling. It really is. So wrapping this up, it feels like we've walked through a real high wire act today. Definitely. We've got Sam Altman, OpenAI's leader, drawing these, frankly, chilling comparisons to the Manhattan Project for GPT-5, voicing deep concerns, asking, what have we done? Worried about the speed, feeling like no adults are in the room. <laughs> exactly. And then there's this incredibly intricate, high-stakes power play mm. between OpenAI and Microsoft, fighting over what AGI even means when it's achieved. With billions of dollars, and really the whole direction of AI hanging in the balance. Yeah. And understanding these dynamics, you know, what's happening behind the curtain. The real worries of the people building this stuff, it's not just, like, interesting tech news. No, wait, it feels more important than that. It's absolutely crucial, I think, for anyone trying to get a handle on where AI is going so fast. These aren't just abstract updates, they're potentially fundamental shifts for everyone. It really does make you stop and think, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. If the people creating the most advanced AI we've ever seen are the ones asking, what have we done? And admitting they feel like no adults are in the room. Yeah. What responsibility does that put on the rest of us? Mm -hmm. On you listening? to really try and understand this technology, engage with it as it just keeps accelerating at this incredible pace. It's definitely something to chew on. Especially with something like GPT-5 seemingly right around the corner. It's a provocative thought to leave you with.